On Sophia's ninth birthday, her grandmother Elena gives her an old brass candlestick with an unlit white candle. This is a special candle, my dear, grandmother says with a knowing smile. It will never burn out as long as you use its light for kindness. A magical candle? What can it do? You'll see, child. But remember, true magic is in the heart. That evening, Sophia places the candle on her bedside table. She lights it absentmindedly while playing. Suddenly, the candle flickers and burns brighter than any flame she's ever seen. She notices the warmth spreading across the room. Curious, she gives her younger neighbor some extra apples from her basket the next day. The moment she does, the candle at home glows even stronger. Is it because of the apples? Sophia wonders, can the candle's magic be used for herself? She keeps a warm coat for herself instead of giving it to Lucas, a poor boy shivering in the cold. That night, when she checks, the candle's light dims to almost nothing. No! What happened? She rushes to Grandmother Elena. True kindness is giving without expecting anything in return. Realizing her mistake, Sophia hurries back to Lucas and wraps the coat around him. His face lights up with warmth and gratitude. So, what did you think of the animation? Pretty cool, right? But imagine if the characters kept changing their faces or outfits in every scene that would totally mess things up. That's actually one of the biggest challenges when creating AI-generated cartoons keeping, the characters looking the same throughout the story. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you an easy step-by-step -step method to make sure your AI characters stay consistent across all scenes. No more weird face swaps or outfit changes, just smooth professional looking animation. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech2AI. To create an AI generated cartoon, the first thing we need is a solid story. If you already have one, great. But if not, don't worry, ChatGPT can take care of that for us. I've put together a special prompt that works in four simple steps. First, ChatGPT gives us some story ideas and waits for our choice. Once we pick one, it generates a detailed script. Then it breaks the script into six scenes. And finally, it creates image prompts for each scene making sure the characters stay consistent throughout the story. I leave this full prompt in the description so you can use it yourself. Now, let's copy it and paste it into ChatGPT. As you can see, it has given us a bunch of story ideas and is now waiting for us to pick one. Let's go ahead and select a story. The moment I enter the title, ChatGPT continues and generates the full script exactly as I instructed. It even creates image prompts for each scene, making the entire process super easy. I'll copy everything and save it in a note for later. I've also generated video prompts in case you want to go straight to text to video animation using AI tools. For images, we'll use Piclumen AI own of the best free tools for unlimited image generation. It also has a special feature that helps us maintain character consistency throughout the animation. Let's head over to Piclumen AI's homepage and click on Create. Now, open our script and copy the image prompt for the first scene. Paste it here.
I'll choose the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, but you can pick any other format if you prefer. Set the number of images to 2 and select the model Piclumen Art 5.1. Now hit run. All right, our first image is generated, but hold on, this woman looks too young. She doesn't look like a grandmother at all. Let's tweak the prompt slightly by adding wrinkles on her face and generate it again. Once we get the look we want, we'll download the image and rename it Scene 1, Image 1 for easy organization. Now, here's an important step, character cropping. Open the image and crop it so that we get a close-up of the character's face. Save this cropped image separately and name it after the character. For example, if the character's name is Sophia, we'll name the file Sophia. Repeat this for all characters in your story. Now, let's generate the second image of scene 1. Since this one doesn't contain characters, we'll keep it as is. Before generating Scene 2's first image, we'll use Piclumen AI's character reference feature. Click on the picture icon and you'll see an image reference box. Upload the cropped face image of Sophia. This ensures that every time we generate an image, Sophia's face stays the same. Now double click on the uploaded image and make sure character reference is selected. Set strength to full. If your story has multiple characters, upload their cropped images here too. Just make sure the prompt also includes detailed descriptions of the characters. For example, I'll now upload grandma's image and regenerate scene 1's first image. Now let's generate the rest of the images one by one. As you'll see, the characters' faces remain consistent across scenes. Even when using reference images, always include character details in the prompt. If ChatGPT forgets to add them in a certain prompt, just copy the details from the script and manually insert them after the character's name.
For example, if I want to change Sophia's outfit from blue to pink, I just tweak the prompt, replacing blue with pink. Now, her outfit has changed while keeping the same character appearance. For turning these images into animations, I highly recommend using Hilo AI by Minimax. There are other tools like Runway ML, Pixverse, or Kling AI, but I personally prefer Hilo AI because its output quality is fantastic. And no, this isn't a sponsored recommendation, it's just my go to tool. With a free Hilo AI account, you get 100 credits daily, which allows you to generate three videos per day. If you want faster results, you might want to consider a subscription. Now, let's go to image to video mode. Upload the first image of scene 1. Paste the same prompt we used to generate that image. Click generate. And there you go. The animation looks amazing. Repeat this process for all the images in your story and you'll have a fully animated video. If a certain clip doesn't turn out the way you want, just tweak the prompt slightly and regenerate it. Let's quickly process the rest of our scenes. Let's quickly process the rest of our scenes. To bring our story to life, we'll need voiceovers. For this, we'll use 11 labs. Choose a suitable narrator voice. Open the script, copy-paste the narrator's lines, and generate the voiceover. That evening, Sophia places the candle on her bedside table. She lights it absent-mindedly while playing. Suddenly, the candle flickers and burns brighter than any flame she's ever seen. She notices the warmth spreading across the room. If any characters have dialogues, generate their voices separately. Now import all the video clips and audio files into your preferred video editor and start putting everything together. And that's it. That's how you can create a complete AI-generated cartoon while keeping your characters consistent throughout the animation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more AI tutorials. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Mm -hmm.